Now that we have a better understanding of what fractions are, we may ask, where can fractions be used? One place fractions are sometimes used is in making measurements. Here we have a piece of wood and we need the length to be four-fifths of a centimeter. We can bring in a ruler like this. We see that on this ruler, each centimeter is divided into five parts. So we can make some fractions with a denominator of five. The distance between each small tick is one-fifth of a centimeter, so we can label the ticks like this. The pink arrow shows where four-fifths of a centimeter is on our ruler. So we can get a pencil and draw a line on our piece of wood right at four-fifths of a centimeter. Now we just need to cut along this marked line to give us a piece of wood with a length of four-fifths of a centimeter. Sometimes going out to eat requires the use of fractions. When the bill comes, this group decides to split the cost evenly. There are five people in the group, so each person would need to pay one-fifth of the bill. Fractions are used in sports too. A soccer game is usually divided into two halves. So if a game lasts 90 minutes, each half lasts one half times 90 or 45 minutes. In a basketball game, the total playing time is usually divided into four quarters. So if the total playing time is 32 minutes, each quarter takes one quarter times 32 or eight minutes. In a hockey game, the total time the puck is in play is divided into three periods. So if the total playing time is 60 minutes, each period takes one-third times 60, or 20 minutes. In the event of a tie, after the third period, an overtime period can be added. In music, fractions are used for various notes. The type of fractional note tells the musician how long each note is played. Here we told you what fractions are and some of the ways they're used in everyday life. But as you'll find out, they have many, many more uses. As we say, fractions are very important when we need to break things into parts and talk about those parts. Working with fractions is a very important part of math. As you go through your math journey, you'll learn a lot about working with fractions and how they can help you with everyday life and your activities.